What's good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I will continue to answer some further questions that you have been leaving on my lock content videos. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first question we have here is what pattern is this? Now the pattern that this person is referring to is the actual pattern that I use when parting. Now the pattern that I use that I always share with you guys is the grid pattern. Now I do have another video on my my channel where I have kind of touched on different types of parting patterns so definitely go ahead and check this video out to find out the different types of patterns that you can consider it's just that I always share the grid pattern because it's my favorite it's no particular reason like oh my god like you have to use this or you have to use that it's just my personal favorite so yeah so the pattern I use always is the grid pattern okay so moving on to the next question we have with two strand twists, does the hair naturally form into locks over time? Yes, of course. Now I have shared with you guys um, my lock journey as well as Jaden's lock journey and his current lock journey that he's on right now. Um, and you'll see how his two strand twists are starting to look more like locks. So definitely go ahead, check the cards above as well as in the description bar below for more videos that will show you how your locks will eventually transform your two strand twist will eventually transform into looking like locks so yeah the answer to that is yes the hair naturally does um lock over time <laughs> okay so moving on to the next question we have can you loosen the hair whenever you want without damaging the hair okay loosen the hair or comb out the hair okay so clearly they say loosen but i'm trying to understand like what they actually mean now if it's just to loosen your locks i'm not sure what you mean i'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about loosening it in terms of combing it out and if that is what i'm interpreting correctly then yes you can and i do have a video on my channel where i share with you how to safely comb out your locks or loosen your locks <laughs> and without damaging your hair so definitely go ahead and check the cards listed above all right so moving on to the next question i have i want to start my dread soon do i need crochet latch hook needle to start them no, absolutely not. You do not need the crochet latch hook needle to um, start your locks. I think I may have answered this a similar question in a previous um, Q&A, but either way, the answer is no. Um, what you can do to secure your roots if you do not have access to, um, you know, getting your hands on the crochet latch hook is either braiding your roots or using um, the elastic band because I did use the elastic bands um, when I started my first son's lock journey way back in 2010. I secured his roots with the elastic bands, like black elastic bands, and uh, installed the two strand twist to keep the um, the roots secured. Now, if you don't have access to that or you can't be bothered to use that because you know some people say it's snag and at your hair strands, you can definitely braid the roots and then install your two strand twist. So yeah, the answer to that is no, you do not need the crochet latch hook needle to start your lock journey. Okay, so moving on to the next question, we have what is the purpose of using clips? And when they're talking about clips, they're talking about when I retwist my hair and I put, um, you know, the little alligator clips to keep the roots, um, keep the, what do you call it? <laughs> the roots looking neat <laughs> now so they asked what is the purpose i kind of gave it away by saying that it's to keep it looking neat and nice and flat now before um when i first started my lock journey way back in 2015 i never used to use um clips if i can find a photo i will definitely insert it and you'll see what my hair was looking like basically what i did i just kept twisting my hair around and around until it like curves like in a little circle and um that helped to keep it neat but once my hair was dried and i would like stretch my hair out it it kind of still have that curve because that is how the hair dried so yeah that is what i was kind of getting away from so when i use the clips it will keep the hair looking nice and flat rather than all curled up and stuff so that's the purpose of the clips that's why i use it but you don't have to use clips when you are retwisting your your locks 
Okay, so moving on to the next question we have, does interlocking hurt? You know what? Generally, no, it does not hurt, but it can hurt if you are um, trying to interlock your roots and there is not enough space in between um, your scalp and your lock, right? So I did mention this in my last Q&A, which I'll link above or in the description bar below for you to check out. Um, when you, when the hair is not, there's not enough space between um, the i.e. new growth from your scalp to your locks when you try to interlock that it can actually hurt now i did share that um i suggest to wait if you're doing the interlocking method obviously wait until your hair is about an inch um of new growth from the scalp and the lock make sure there's an inch before interlocking because I did actually try and interlock one of my braid locks that wasn't quite an inch and it wasn't painful but it did leave my hair my my scalp sorry feeling a little bit tender and I'm also a bit tender headed up here so um yeah it did it did leave me feeling very quite uncomfortable and I was like oh my god I want to take this out I didn't take it out but I just had to endure that discomfort but generally um, interlocking should not hurt the only time it will be painful is if there is not enough new growth in which you're interlocking um, your locks and you know pulling it through etc so okay so moving on to the next question we have do you have a video on how to touch up the two strand twist now um i think when this person asked about touch up because at first i was thinking what what would you mean <laughs> what do you mean touch it up but i think um they were just I, I assume it was more so how you keep it neat right so how do you touch it up how do you keep it neat um Usually I would say, you know, I have a video on how to make your retwist last long. I'll definitely link it right here for you to check out. Um, but when it comes time to just retouching up my hair, like say if I don't want to do the whole of it, I literally would just do a retwisting session only on the front. So that's the best thing I could say in terms of how to touch it up. That's it. Or if that's not what you mean and you mean like just keep it neat just keep your hair covered and um like i said i've got a video here showing you how you can make your retwist last long okay so moving on to the next question we have what products should i use to make sure the twist lock especially on fine hair now listen there is absolutely no product out there that is going to make your hair lock your twist lock your braids lock listen there is a process called time okay that is the only thing that will make your hair lock over time your hair will just start to tangle and intertwine with each other there's absolutely no product that you can say use this and it will make your hair lock absolutely not however i did i do remember someone saying that people use uh glue to make their hair lock i'm like what why why would you put glue on your hair to make it lock listen just give it time it will lock it's a process like i know we all want the end result right now if that's what you're after the best thing i would suggest is doing the instant lock method but aside from that just give it time and your hair will lock there's absolutely no product out there that's going to help your hair to lock any faster than it would do naturally okay and the final question i'm answering today is will this work on 3a slash 3b hair and what this person is referring to is the two strand twist lock method and um, i think i'm almost sure i've touched on this in a previous q a as well um because 3a 3b here is um quite much more looser in texture and stuff like that um, in terms of the pattern i mean so um i would honestly suggest instant locks as i mentioned um if you have straight hair and you know looser curl patterns and stuff like that definitely instant lock is the best method for you even if you have um you know coarse you know four type hair i still recommend the instant lock method because that is the only method i can say that will guarantee there is no unraveling and your hair will look like locks 
immediately and all you have to de um, deal with is just the just the process just the uh the usual process of the lock journey so yeah um the best thing i would say for 3a 3b here is definitely instant locks um you can do the two strand twist but i would more so suggest braid locks if you wanted to go if you didn't want to do the instant locks i would definitely suggest braids but you know i also had my own experiences with that but again like it says if you don't want to be bothered with that i would more so go with braids because it's a little bit more tighter so yeah, uh, I hope that was helpful. <laughs> okay, so remember to go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below for similar videos like this one. And also, if you found today's video very helpful, then please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next time, we will be right back here with another video.